Okay, so we're going to make a chocolate tart. This is my chocolate tart. It's got a very special way of cooking it that is quite interesting. So I will get on with it. We've just got some basic sweet pastry. All we're going to do is roll that out and line a tart ring. So we've got the tart ring here, which is a really large tart ring. In fact, too large to go in my oven, so I might struggle with that slightly. And this is our sweet pastry, which we're going to roll out. I use two sheets like this. I sometimes use cling film when I'm at home, but I always roll it out between rather than adding flour. I don't want to add flour. I don't want to sort of firm up the pastry. I love this chocolate tart and it is it is ludicrously simple. No sugar, no butter, really simple to make. We have cream, we have milk, and we have two different types of chocolate. This chocolate is Amade chocolate, which I love. This is a 95% chocolate, this is a 75% chocolate. Um, and then we've got some eggs as well. So that's it. First thing we're going to do is add the double cream and the milk to a pan and just bring that up to warm. Don't boil it. We don't want to... We just need to bring it up hot enough to melt the chocolates. So we've got two different types of chocolate. They're both in one gram pistol sizes. One for me. Always nice. And then we've got six eggs, whole. And that's it, it just needs three ingredients. You need a tart case that's been blind baked with a, a sweet pastry. Nice and cooked all the way through because there isn't a great deal of cooking gonna go on after this. So just mix up those eggs nicely. I like to add now, a little pinch of salt into the eggs and that's going to season the whole thing up and just firm those eggs. Okay, so there's our milk and cream come up to heat. That's going to go straight over the chocolate. Like so, no scorch in that pan which is really important. I want to catch the milk in there. And now we just want to mix that together until it melts all the chocolate beautifully and they melt really quickly. And it's that mix of uh, 95 and 75%, so you've got that softness and a bit of bitterness as well. Um, it's a really punchy, beautiful chocolate tart that's easy to make, easy to assemble, and even easier to cook, my kind of thing. Don't make it with milk chocolate, because it's too sweet. Make it with a really good, rich, good chocolate. So nice, so nice. So the chocolate's all beautifully melted. And you know, I just put it on a plate, you see, you see how emulsified and beautiful that is, that all the, all the chocolate and dairy all come together beautifully. There we go. And then that's at blood temperature now, just above. In goes my mixed eggs. And don't forget, I put a little bit of salt in that as well. And just mix that in. I don't use a whisk, because I don't want to create air bubbles in there. I don't want it aerated the eggs will start to naturally sort of thicken it up a little bit. As long as that's dispersed properly. I don't need to put it through a sieve either. It's nice and simple. So that's our chocolate tart mix. And the cooking method of this tart is really, is really lovely. So in goes the mix into a blind baked sweet pastry tart. I fill it up really high, give it a little, make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Fill it right to the brim. Now, the lovely trick is, the oven's on, nice and hot. It's on 200 degrees. In goes the tart, like so. And I shut the door, I turn off the oven, I go to bed, I wake up, my tart is perfectly cooked. On Saturday night, cook that last thing, put it in the oven, turn the oven off, go to bed, wake up, perfectly cooked tart. There you go. 
So to accompany our beautiful chocolate tart, we're going to make a syllabub. So that's going to be 50% double cream, 50% creme fraiche in a bowl, 10% uh, by volume of caster sugar, some vanilla pods. I've put one in already. We're just going to split that vanilla pod, make it flat, run the knife down, not all the way through, and then just scrape out the seeds really nicely. And to make it a syllabub, we're going to use this beautiful sauternes in there. So a little bit of white wine in there as well. And we're just going to whisk that up and make a very light, delicious, alcoholic, vanilla-y syllabub. Done. And that is my very simple to make, very low maintenance, very user friendly chocolate tart. Happy cooking.